All right, welcome back. And we are going to continue our series for Xfinity. We are in our second season. So we're going to keep moving forward with this. So we got past Daytona, and now we're going to move to Atlanta. And see how we do there. So you can see that I changed my tire wear for the AI, or for all of us, to two times normal wear. Because I found that during the stage breaks, nobody was pitting. So I like for them to at least pit one time during the race. I'm going to keep it at 25% length, but I would like to at least have one pit stop. So we're going to do two times normal wear instead of normal. So let's head to Atlanta and see how we do. So for this second season, I'm going to be doing... I don't know how many of the races I'm going to put up. I won't put all of them up because that would be a ton of videos. I'll probably do at least half of them. I'll do a good... I'll do a decent bit in the regular season. And then when the playoffs start, I'll probably do all of those races. But I'll do those races and then I'm starting to get cup hot seat offers too. So I'm going to do some of those. So that should put a decent amount of content on now. the channel. So let's go out here to Atlanta and see how well we do. Atlanta is one of my favorite tracks. I love it. I love the speed. I love how the tires fall off. The uh, track just fits me really well for how I race. So let's qualify. I'll be quiet for a minute and let's run a lap. So as you can see, the speed is pretty high. This camera view makes it look really well. Let's see how we did. And we got 10th place. So we did pretty well, pretty good. Again, I'm still using my number system for the engine arrow and suspension and the difficulty level. So I think that works out pretty decently. So we're gonna see how well it works today. So again, we're going to be doing two times normal wear moving forward because I want them to at least get a pit stop. And here we go, crossing the line now. So let's start this race at Atlanta and see if we can hang in there and get a good finish today. I love how you can watch the cars and the bumps and you can just watch them bounce up and down and... I'm sure that's what it looks like running the real track. Oh, and we get into the back of Ryan Sieg there, looking for a way around him. Careful, still there. I find in the beginning of the races you got to get all you can because once the once the cars get spread out, uh, it's a little bit tougher. You got to get all you can get in the beginning. And I'm also going to be testing this season how much the AI cars spread apart because I know there's a setting for that too. You can either have them spread far apart, like the faster cars will be, you know, obviously fast and the slower cars will be going slower than they normally do if you want that. It just makes the field spread out more as I hit the wall. Or you can have it on normal or you can have the AI cars bunched closer together so that the separation, the difference in speed from the fast to the slow isn't as much. But what I'm finding so far is the lead cars, the leader gets out to a two or three second lead and he's all by himself. You know, obviously that it pretty much works that way in real NASCAR, but it might not be have as much drama 
I like for the pack to stay a little bit closer together, not pack racing like at a super speedway, but just closer racing overall from all the AI. It makes it more drama and more fun. So I'm going to be taking a look at that at this season too. So you can look, you can see that sense of speed that you get here at Atlanta. Well, we're in third place. Second place is Tyler Reddick. We are right behind him. Let's see if we can make him a little nervous here and make him go up the track. See if we can get under him. Careful. Still there. Oh, got to be careful hitting that yellow line here. You got one to go. One to go in the stage. Still there. There might be a couple times, as you saw earlier, that I skip ahead in the video. Just because uh, some parts of the race might be a little bit boring or there might not be much going on. So if you see me skip ahead in the video, that's why. And usually I determine that when I'm running the race. If I find there's, you know, a few laps that are pretty much the same and there's not a whole lot going on then I'll just automatically fade it out cut those laps out so that the video isn't too long so nobody's pitting so I'm not pitting either we're in second place right now and we came out in second thanks to my pit crew all right be smart out there going green be ready here looking inside now so let's start this and here we go Nine laps remaining in stage two. I didn't want to make it too long. So, try not to make the videos 45 minutes long, but looks like me and Christopher Bell, uh, obviously he's really good, but I'm really good too. I think I have a pretty good car now. I think the AI is pretty on point with us. Because I know where the numbers need to be to right, keep it decently clear, competitive. So you can just see how the cars bounce up and down here because the rough surface. I know at some point they're going to need to pave the real track. I just don't know when that'll be. It's probably overdue right now. All it's going to take is one race at Atlanta where it rains and they're not able to get the track dry or there's weepers or whatever and people are going to be really upset and they're going to be forced to repave it. Well as you can see Christopher Bell is still in the lead. Hasn't been a whole lot of change. I'm trying to get up here and pass him. One lap to go in the stage right now. See if we can pass him here before the start of the final stage. And it's definitely not easy. See, that's what I mean about the lead cars. I mean, me and him are first and second. I don't see anybody else even in the picture right now. I mean, it's fun and exciting because I'm racing Christopher Bell, but there's no other AI cars to be found. So we're coming across the line now. And we took the lead in the stage. So I would like that for that racing to be bunched up a little bit more. So maybe you're battling three or four cars instead of just one. So I'll see how that looks as the season goes on. Let's see what we can change up here. Get my fuel right. Get some tires, obviously. Let's put a little bit more tape on it. The temperature. The temperature wasn't that high, so we can put a little more tape on it. We'll be all right. I think that looks pretty good. So we're back to sixth. Pit crew lost me a little time there, but that's okay. We're all in it together. Be ready now. Car there on the inside. 
So let's start this final stage. 19 laps to go. Still think the game looks really good. Yeah, of course it looks a little cartoony, but it's a video game. I don't want to have to have a 2080 Ti to run the game to make it look more realistic. Still looks a lot better than it did last year for Heat 3 though. Let's see if I can get up here and run this high line a little bit. I think me and Christopher Bell are going to have a knockdown drag out for the win here. Unless someone else wants to get in the picture. I love running the high line here. But it can bite you just like that. A little crossover on Noah Gragson. Is it Gragson or Grayson? I can never. I hear both. Oh, Cole Custard, the general. Oh, give him a little shot right there. Let him know we're right here. Come on, name a check. Get up there. Let's go. Man, that sense of speed is awesome, though. I love it. Car there on the outside. Come on, cold custard. I gotta go, buddy. Was a great flat. Still there. Three wide oh, he's gonna cross me over. Look at him, and I'm three wide. I'm gonna stay in the middle so I don't crash out here. I see you over there, cold custard. Got a car low now. Oh man, that's tight. Oh, I tried to cross him over, but didn't quite make it. Still love the sound it gives you when you're drafting. That's a cool sound of the air going over the car. Still a ways to go here, but we're going to run it. See if I can get Custer out of my way, or at least knock him up to the front. Sometimes that's the best thing to do, is just use the car in front of you to help you get up there. Custer looks like he's going to make a move. We're going to try to go with him if we can. I'm going to go right by him right here. I'm going to push Bell. There we go. It's starting to get a little loose. You can see it. Starting to get a little bit loose. Gotta hang on to her. Again, I hope that's one thing they work on is you never see the AI get loose. But I sure do. Chase Briscoe is up in second. We're going to see if we can go down low here and get past him. Get up here with C. Bell. There we go. Me and Bill, we're going we're gonna to duke it out here. He's on that high line. He's running that Larson line, which really works here at Atlanta. You can see him get the run off the corner. So the other two cars behind us fell back, as you can see. Whoa, and I just... Man, hang on to it. That's why you don't hit that yellow line. Oh, I just lost everything. Here comes Briscoe right behind me. Well, that's not good. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch him now. That was about the dumbest thing I could do. But I am pretty darn loose now. I'm just trying to baby it along the best I can. You can see it get loose right there. He's got a 1.3 second lead. You can see the other cars behind me. Briscoe and Custer are falling back. I'm going to give it everything I've got to try to catch Christopher Bell. 
watch the leaderboard as we go along here. He's gained a tenth on me there. He's running about the same lap times I am. That's why I'm too scared to change. I'm scared to change too much because it's pretty on point right now. I mean, the lead's not growing. It's not shrinking. It's pretty much the same. We're running the same lap times. That's when you know the numbers are working. But what's not working is these lap cars that I got to try to get around. As I screw that one up, and obviously that isn't going to help me catch him. But what will help me catch him is if these lap cars are racing each other and he has nowhere to go. Get around Joey Gase. Thanks, Joey. Here we come. Christopher Bell, I don't know why he's not going to the bottom, but we're about to do all we can to get by him right now because we're going to have one shot at this. Because if we don't get by him, he's probably going to beat us. And I'm really loose. This is the last lap right here, right now. We've got to go. And Bell gets hung up with two lap cars on the high side. I'm going to go under him right here. We'll see you, see Bell. Clear high, clear high. Ah, it's a crushing blow for Christopher Bell. We got around him just because of two lap cars. I think we pretty much had the same speed. We're going to come around to win the race now. Great teamwork. Nice job. Checker flag is yours.